There you go. Hello, guys. Welcome to Image News. I will be talking to you guys about the economy. The Congress Department re released its third quarter GDP report, and it is slowing down. The U.S. economy grew at an annualized rate of 1.9% in the third quarter. That is really low. That is below 2%. Although the economy is slowing, it remains relatively strong. It was helped by growing consumer and government spending, but it decreased. <clears throat> Americans started spending less on clothing, footwear, and cars. People were spending less on clothing and footwear because the Trump administration hit some Chinese imports of clothes and footwear with some tariffs. <clears throat> what do you guys think of that? Like Hello and welcome back to Image News. I'm Isaiah with your sports section. Alright, now breaking news is the Houston Texans star J.J. Watt from the NFL suffered a torn pectoral injury on Sunday against the Oakland Raiders in their win 24-27 and he will miss the remainder of the 2019 season. Ian Rappert of NFL Network reported Monday that Watt will have surgery in the middle of the week to repair a torn pec that ended his season. He's looking at a recovery time of four months or so but he will miss the rest of the season. And in the past, he has had injuries limit him to such as eight games between 2016 and 2017. And he underwent season-ending back surgery in September of 2016 and suffered a tibial plateau, fra plateau fracture in October of 2017. Although this is a setback, he says he will be ready for the 2020 season and will be in full health. Thank you. And I'm Isaiah with your sports news. Hi, Tigers. My name is Mauricio Romero, and I'm bringing you sports news. On Saturday, November 2nd, Mexican boxer Saul Canelo Alvarez will fight against Russian boxer Sergey Kovalev. This is a huge challenge for Saul Canelo Alvarez because he had to gain 15 pounds in order to meet the weight class. This means that Canelo Alvarez moved up two weight classes from his regular weight class in order to meet the requirements to fight. If, he, if Saul Canelo Alvarez wins this match and he becomes the champion, this means that he will be champion in four different weight divisions. There has only been a total of four boxers that have done this. Hi, my name is Javier Vasquez and I'm here with your political news. John Bowen is caught into this ongoing investigation of Donald Trump being impeached. He's one of the key witnesses as well as Bill Taylor. Twitter has just announced that they are going to start banning all their political ads on their app. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Javier signing out. Hey Tigers, I'm back with more news, but this time about entertainment. On Wednesday, October 30th, our amazing leadership team here at Edison High School, your high school, will be hosting a, a event called Trunk or Treat. In this event, there will be free candy, fun games, and amazing prizes you can win. It will be held from 5 to 8 p.m. So if you are not there, then you will truly be missing out on a whole lot of fun. Hello, and welcome back to Image News. I'm Isaiah, and I'm here with your education section. All right, now recently in California, there has been a law passed by Governor Gavin Newsom, which has allowed to uh, students, uh, high school seniors, to be given two free years of tuition for community colleges in California. And this will be granted to 150 community colleges eligible for two years of free tuition. and But they must be full-time students taking at least 12 units per semester. And, the, and California is providing a budget of $42.6 million to cover the tuition in the second year because of all the students, 33,000 new students expected to be eligible for this program. And currently, tuition at community colleges is $46 a unit are about $1,380 a year for a full-time student. This does not mean that it's tuition is all college is paid free, but tuition is free. And I'm Isaiah, and that was your education news. Okay. <clears throat> Hello guys, uh, welcome back to back. The fuck is back? Welcome back. Why did I just... I didn't mess it up. We're good. Um, Hell, more than 50 organizations pressure Trump administration to follow through with the vaping flavor ban. <clears throat> um, they want Trump administration to stick with a plan 
uh, that was announced last month that would have that would make e-cigarette companies uh, take their products off the market and this will cause the e-cigarette companies to lose a lot of money and that what do you guys think that'll be all for me hi i'm javier i'm here with your trending topic kanye west just dropped a new album jesus is king within 12 hours he got 38 million plays on spotify now let's go interview some people and see their opinions on this trending topic i'm here with santiago i'm gonna ask him some questions about kanye's west news album what do you think about it santiago it's a dope album it's good y'all should listen to it boy if you don't get why do you think it's dope because it talks about it's something different you know it's something different to the rap culture and i think it's a rap album it's different from many other albums do you really think that there's a lot of controversy about that? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are saying Kanye fell off, but he's selling 200k off his first week. First. All week. right, so what would you give it out of 10? To be real, I give it a nine out of 10 or eight out of 10. Nine out of 10. All right, it's, then. It's, Thank it's, you. The production on it was just fire. Kanye's beats, fire. All right, then. Very good. Hey, yo, I'm here with Alejandro Rosas. I'm gonna get his opinion about Kanye West's new album. Personally, uh, I only like two songs from it, which is Follow God and On God, but the rest of the album was okay. To be honest, I give it like a six out of ten. A six? A six? There's a lot of controversy about it, whether it's a rap album or not. What do you think? It's mainly gospel. Gospel? Gospel all right. slash rap. All right, all right. All right, then it's your fellow Tacuache, El Cut. El Cut. Right with Michael. Michael, yeah. All right, so Michael, what you think about Kanye's West's new album? Um, I'm honestly an old head, so I listen to old school music. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real Tupac fan. Biggie, all right, he's zooming in. Um, it's cool, but uh, it's kind of auto tune, bro. I'm not an auto tune guy. You know what I'm saying? That oh, new right. school, uh -huh. not the flavor, not the flavor. Okay. Not the flavor, not the flavor. You heard it here first. I know vamos cut. Cut. <laughs> 